Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Treasure Island according to Spike Milligan. Dane reads. So this is part of a series in which Spike Milligan takes like classic stories and retells them with his own kind of unique brand of humour. A little bit on the blurb here. Welcome to the world of the classic adventure story, hilariously retold by legendary comic Spike Milligan. Uh, what have we got? Blah blah blah. And hunt for buried treasure with Long John Silver, Jim Hawkins and Groucho Marx in Treasure Island. Groucho Marx previously was a character in Robin Hood for some reason as well. Don't ask me why, it's just very Spike Milligan, you know. So let's go through, check out some tabs and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So here we get a conversation between Jim and his mum. So am I right? This is Jim. This is his mum. And um, we get a reference to Bexhill on Sea, which is, I think it's in, uh, I want to say it's in, it's in Kent or Essex, somewhere, somewhere around there. Mum, where was Dad born? In Bexhill on Sea. Where is that? That's a village for the dying by the sea. Was he dying? No, he managed to escape before he died. How did he escape? He jumped out of his coffin and ran. What was he doing in a coffin? He was waiting to die. What was he dying of? Lurgy. What's that? Like spots of shit on the liver. Is that dangerous? Only if you've got it. How can you cure it? You jump out of your coffin and run away. How'd you catch it? By living at Bexel on Sea. A lot of this is written like that in the form of like a film script. So we get this joke here that keeps on coming in. So this is going to be the captain. This is Jim. He didn't make them. They was already there. Did you battle with the French? Oh yes I did. I threatened a French sailor with my cutlass. He jumped overboard. He started to drown. Help, help, he shouted. I can't swim. Look, I said, I can't play the fiddle, but I don't shout about it. So he's previously used that joke in Robin Hood, but he uses it again, like, a few times in this. We'll see some more. So we get a reference here. I just enjoyed it. Long John Silver was his name. He had lost his leg and never found it. And so we get this. And where would you go? Overboard, even though I can't swim, said the captain. Well, said Trelawney, I can't play the violin, but I don't tell everybody about it. Just a great, great little bit of dialogue here. Again, one of his little jokes. Now, Jim, you tell me true. That ain't Flint's ship, he asked. All right, it ain't Flint ship. Flint is dead, I said. How'd you know? They buried it. Someone else took his place. Not a man with one leg, he gasped. Silver, I asked. No, wooden, says he. Stop pouring, shouted Trelawney. I can't swim. Look, said Captain Smollett. I can't play the violin, but I don't tell everybody. Just a little uh, simile here, <laughs> made me chuckle. The horse was as taut as a starling's bum. A uh, great, great joke here. So this is Groucho Marx. Look out, Jim, he's got a duck. Sure enough, there was Hans halfway towards me with a dirk in his hand. A dirk? Don't you mean a duck? No, Groucho, you can't be stabbed with a duck. Are you sure, Jim? A friend took me to a restaurant once and I got stuck with the bill. Oh, and Groucho says, he's fallen into the water. Hans, help, help, I can't swim. Listen, I can't play the violin, but I don't shout about it. And another little joke, we made a strange group of people, all but me armed to the teeth. And Groucho says, why do people want to arm their teeth? So yeah. Apart from the rep uh, repetitance of that joke, which started to really annoy me by the end, it was quite amusing. Uh, I have read Treasure Island. I'm not a big fan, to be honest. I always found with Treasure Island, the bits that I enjoy the most were the bits set in the inn at the beginning. So, eh. Uh, I do like Muppet Treasure Island, though. I gave this a four out of five, which is probably more than I would give the original Treasure Island. Again, just because it was humorous, a lot of fun. Missing a lot of the racism, which is kind of a problem with a lot of Milligan's other work as well. So overall, did enjoy. Would recommend if you're a Treasure Island fan or a Spike Milligan fan. Otherwise, probably no point. So there we have it. That's what I made of Treasure Island according to Spike Milligan. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.